is Daryl, and today I'm going to show you how you can import these Divi layouts onto your WordPress website. Now, a lot of people ask me what the Divi layouts actually are. So these are basically pre-made websites, and all the work is already done. All you need to do is download the file, upload it to your website, and that's it. Your website is already complete. So it's a very good alternative to actually developing a website from scratch, especially if you have a lot of clients. You know, you can just you know grab a pre-made layout, uh, upload it for them, and charge them whatever you want. Now, I do have a lot of free ones. These are my paid ones right here. So this is like a photography layout. But I do have a lot of free layouts on my website along with my paid. And also make sure to subscribe uh, to my newsletter because I actually give away a lot of layouts to a lot of my subscribers. And I continually add a lot of these pre-made layouts. So you must have the Divi theme to use these. I had uh, somebody purchase a lot of these and they were like, okay, how do I use them now? And I said, well, you got to have the Divi theme, brother. I, I don't know what to tell you. So let me show you how you can uh, upload these to your WordPress website. So going over here, this is a fresh installation of Divi. All I'm going to do is go to my dashboard and we're going to go to Divi and go to Divi library. Now the file, when you first download it right here, it's going to be a zip file. So you need to actually double click on it and it'll actually extract it. And if you are on a PC, you must extract the file. So if you double click on this, it's going to create a new file. And these are the files that you need to upload. So the .json files, all right? So going back over here, I'm going to click on import and export, just simply import it, choose the file, and then, I don't know, let's let's do the home page. We'll do the home page. Import Divi Builder Layouts. And you guys will get this little bar, it's gonna say 1%. Now guys, another common error I've seen, if it just stays at 1% for a long time, just refresh the page and go ahead and try it again. So and that is a common error I've seen, you know, so, um, you know, these things happen to me too. So now let's go ahead and just um, create this page right here. So over here, I'm gonna go to add new, and I'm gonna click on home. Use the Divi Builder layout, load from library, add from library, load the home page. There you go. Your website is already done. Everything is good to go. Now, if I click on preview, you're going to see that the website is completely different and you have a fully functional photography homepage in a matter of seconds. So that saves a lot of time if you're backed up with clients, right? Now, let me show you the other way we can do this. So going back over here. Now, let's just say I want to do another one. I'm going to go to Divi. Divi library, I'm not gonna save all this, it's just for tutorial purposes. And I'm gonna click on import, export, import, choose the file, and I'll just grab the pricing section. Now I know some servers are a little strange with Divi layouts, you know, I know for Amazon, I've heard Amazon has a lot of problems with the Divi layouts, but um, uh, you might wanna contact your hosting company if you have those problems, but for a majority of hosting companies, it works perfect. So I've uploaded the pricing layout. So I'm going to go to pages, going to go to add new. And I'll just put pricing. Use the Divi Builder layout. And here I'll use the Visual Builder instead. I don't wanna use the back end. I know most people use the Visual Builder because it's amazing. Here on this little purple section, you can click on this. Click on this plus arrow. Add from library and then I'll click on pricing. Now the page is loading, so there you go. You have a fully functional pricing page in a matter of seconds. So go to my website, make sure to download all those you know free layouts. Also make sure to subscribe. If you wanna purchase the paid layouts, go ahead. You know uh, If you have clients who are into that niche, whatever you need. But um, you know I do offer a lot of layouts on my website. So there are tons of free ones and I will be continuing to add more paid ones along with more free ones. So that's it guys. If you guys have purchased one of those layouts, that is exactly how you do it step by step. I had some people emailing me purchasing these, weren't really sure what they were. So that is what the Divi layouts are. So other than that guys, I hope you guys like this tutorial and I will see you all later.